Pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Well, it's the Lake Hattie Fatty. This is a brown trout, 29 and a half inches and a smidge over 15 pounds. While the sheer numbers of large fish at Hattie this year may be down a bit, depending on who you talk to, the coming years look promising. Back in late June, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department conducted its annual sampling of Lake Hattie outside of Laramie, the purpose of which is to get updated data on how the fishery is doing, whether any age classes are struggling to grow, and basically get an idea of how the fishery will be performing in the coming years. After three days of sampling, Laramie Region Fisheries biologist Steve Gale says anglers here can be optimistic on two fronts. Catch rates of rainbows are good, and the outlook looks good for the coming years, too. Our abundance of rainbow trout seems to be at higher numbers than in the past, while size might be a little down, but there's plenty of 15 to 17 inch rainbows for anglers to catch, and catch rates have been really, really pretty high, um, a lot higher than in the past when Maybe we had larger rainbows in that, you know, seven to 10 pound range, but maybe it took you 12 hours of fishing to actually catch one. Now catch rates are gonna be a little higher. Uh, again, size is, is working its way up. We had a, a bit of a change in our stocking. We went to stocking fewer fish, but larger sizes. And, and we're just kind of having a hiccup in terms of the max size of, of rainbow trout and Hattie right now, but we're really fairly confident that's gonna change hopefully in the, in the near future. Brown trout and annually stocked Bear River cutthroat still represent well. Good numbers of 20 inch plus fish came up in the nets, as did kokanee, a fish species growing in popularity with Wyoming anglers. As the summer winds to a close, getting the boat out on Lake Hattie might just be the way to cap off the fishing season. That and catching one of these. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.